What's up guys, Justin here. In this video, I wanna share with you some services that you can use to get your music digitally distributed for free. Now, if you're looking just to get your music digitally distributed on places like Spotify, um, Apple Music, Amazon Music, Deezer, these major platforms, there are ways to do that for free. That's what I'm gonna share with you here in this video. One thing to just keep in mind though is that there's gonna be a trade-off when you're using a paid service versus a free service. So if you're only looking to get your music digitally distributed on major streaming platforms, uh, there are some free options. Just keep in mind that there are some advantages to using paid services as well. But I'll get into that in a little bit more detail in this video. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, so I've done a couple videos in the past related to getting your music distributed digitally. In this one, I'm gonna show you some free services. So if you're on a super tight budget, you can start getting your music um, uploaded to streaming services to major streaming platforms like Tidal, Amazon Music, uh, Apple Music, Spotify, Deezer, all these places. You can get it uploaded to all those major platforms uh, completely for free with some of these services. So keep in mind that there's always going to be a trade-off. If you're using a service that doesn't charge you anything, you're probably not going to get a lot of the same uh, features and bells and whistles as you will a premium service. And generally, it's pretty inexpensive uh, to get your music distributed digitally on most platforms, especially ones that don't take any commission. So really, uh, one of the best options, if you're gonna upload lots of music and you wanna be able to upload as much as you want without spending a lot of money and without paying any commissions, but you also want uh, some more of the additional features that are offered by some of these bigger, more popular distribution services, um, DistroKid is a great option. It's only $20 a year, and you can upload as much as you want. You know, So $20 a year is, not a lot of money. So if the difference between completely free and $20 a year, if that actually makes a big difference for you, then uh, two things. One, subscribe to this channel so that I can help you make more money with your music because uh, $20 a year really shouldn't make that much of a difference. However, that being said, I do realize that some of you guys are just getting started. You're not generating any money from your music yet. You wanna keep your expenses as low as possible. And if that's the case, I would recommend that you start out with a service like Amuse. It's completely free. You don't have to spend any money to get started and they don't charge you a fee or take any cut of your royalties. So it actually is a legitimately free way to get your music distributed digitally. So what's the trade-off with the Muse? Well, for one thing, you're not going to be distributed to nearly as many streaming services as you will from most distributors. You will get on all the major ones like Spotify, Apple Music, Tidal, Amazon Music, Deezer, Napster, Google Music, Shazam and YouTube. So that'll cover most of your bases. Uh, you'll be on all the biggest platforms like you know Spotify, Amazon, Apple Music, but there are some other major platforms like Pandora or iHeartRadio that your music won't be available on. And you're not gonna get any type of bells and whistles from Amuse. The type of detailed analytics and physical distribution, automatic artist splits, publishing administration, all those additional services that are offered by a lot of other distributors simply aren't available on Amuse. But again, Amuse is completely free. And another important thing to keep in mind is that at any time, you can switch from one distributor to another. So that's not a big deal. If you're just getting started, you don't want to spend any money up front, you can sign up for Amuse. And then once you have more money coming in and you can afford to use a distributor that's going to get you in more places and offer some additional features, uh, you can always switch over to them it's easy to do, it's not a problem. So it's not really something that you have to worry about. Now, another option for getting your music distributed digitally for free would be RouteNote. So RouteNote will actually get you distributed in quite a few more places than Amuse. All the major ones, iTunes, Spotify, YouTube, Google Play, Amazon Music, Deezer, GraceNote, Pandora, iHeartRadio, you know, all of these other places. So that's another thing to keep in mind. Uh, they will get you distributed in more places. However, they do take a uh, commission. It's a 15% commission um, off of your royalties, which is actually very high. However, you can upgrade at any time to the paid version where you get to keep 100% of your royalties. Now that being said, it is $9.99 annually, plus you're paying per album, per single to upload. Um, so if you are going to switch to a paid service, 
I would probably recommend something more along the lines of DistroKid. DistroKid is a $20 a year flat fee. They'll get you in over 150 digital stores and streaming services. You still get to keep 100% of your royalties. And then they have a lot of bonus features as well. They'll help you with distributing cover songs legally, getting paid from YouTube, getting that Spotify verified check mark, and quite a few other things. And then you have other services like TuneCore, CD Baby. Uh, CD Baby can help you with physical distribution, music publishing administration. TuneCore also offers a music publishing administration feature. I'm not going to get into all that right now because I shot a video not too long ago that gets into all the differences between DistroKid, TuneCore, and CD Baby. So I'll link to that in the video description. You can check that out if you want to go with one of those premium services that offers more features. But I just wanted to shoot this quick video to let you know about a couple of free options as well. Uh, Route Note, and probably the best free option that I'm aware of would be Amuse. Because even though they don't get your music on quite as many places as Route Note, they don't charge you any commission. And there's no fee to get started. So this is probably one of the best places that you can start out. And then once you have some money coming in, you can always switch over to a premium service that might offer some additional features that you want and also can get you distributed in more places. All right, so hopefully you found this video helpful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up and leave a comment in the comment section below. If you're not already subscribed to this channel, go ahead and click the subscribe button under the video and tick the little bell icon to be notified as soon as new videos are released. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.